Today we're doing one of those things. We're co comparing a, a budget thing to a premium thing. And in this case, hair products. Whoa, did uh, was somebody just say hair products? Oh, look, look, all right. My Bloomon team has been get getting angry at me recently because uh, I'm not sharing with you guys enough of the behind the scenes of what we've been working on like we used to back in the good old days. I can't have an angry team at me, okay? We're just not gonna get anything done. So check this out. One of the next projects, what the uh, the Bloomon team is cooking up is uh, here. These are some samples of an upcoming volume cream. So it's our like second official pre-styler. Um, it's kind of like our first official pre-styler because original can be used as both pre and post. But I just wanted to show you guys where we are. These are a few of the samples that we've gotten in and this one over on my right is straight fire. You guys wanna see, you wanna see the text? It's not happening. My biggest problem right now with the volume creams that exist, and trust me, I've tested out a lot of them on the market, is that most of the time when I put it through my hair, I can't really feel uh, like anything is, is happening. It's kind of like a placebo effect a lot of the time. With this one that we're working on, I wanted to make sure that you can actually feel it in your hair. I think it being lightweight is still really important at the end of the day. It's a volumizing cream, so it needs to be lightweight. It needs to give you good volume, but I want you to know that you've done something different to your hair and that it's not just like, you can't tell whether it's doing anything or not. This stuff, it's heat activated, so you put it in damp hair, it almost feels like you haven't put anything in. And as you start blow drying it down, you can really start to feel it take effect. Uh, I'll be demoing it a bit in this video. So, you know, let's just get into today's topic. All right, so today I wanted to compare a budget product to a premium product, but have a broader conversation about budget versus premium products in general. For our cheap contender today, we've got the overworked hair putty. Uh, it's in the L'Oreal line. This comes in at $4.70 on Amazon compared to our premium option over here, which is from Sheer Revival, and that is Grey Ghost. This is a Stronghold Cream Pomade. But we're gonna be talking about more than just these two as well. I prepped my hairstyle for both of these products exactly the same by taking a sample of our upcoming volume cream and blow drying that through to create as much volume as possible. So let's go ahead and start with our budget product. Although this is going to obviously have some unique characteristics that applies to this product only, there are definitely traits in this product that are common with a large amount of budget products as well, which is what we're going to dive into a little bit. From what I've learned over the years, a lot of budget products and mass produced products like this are created for guys that just don't know better. And I know that sounds kind of harsh but this product right here is a perfect example what i've noticed is that most budget products are created just with ease of use in mind as the most important factor followed by performance. For example, this overworked hair putty is super easy to scoop out and break down and it glides through the hair really easily. And I had a bit of an eye-opening experience recently when we were at Summer Shredding because the, the Bloom On team had a booth there. It's the first time that I spoke to a bunch of guys who didn't know a lot about hair products or about the, just hair in general. And pretty much everyone that I asked about what they use most of them just didn't even know what it was called and just said that it was just something easy and quick to use and throw in their hair. So it makes sense that a lot of mass produced budget products go down that route. They're trying to create something that's just fast and easy to use. But if ease of use is the priority, you tend to sacrifice performance. So I started by blow drying the upcoming volume cream through, like I said, just giving you guys a little quick sneak peek and the voluminous outcome that can be achieved. Then I applied the overworked hair putty. And like I mentioned, super easy to apply. It's a breeze. There's no tug and pull, which is exactly what they were going for. But the actual finish just doesn't last. If I worked at it enough, I could get a look that I like. Um, I mean, a big part of this is also thanks to the volume cream that I used before, but overall I wasn't getting good texture or a hold that I was happy with. And this was even more evident when I came back just 45 minutes later and I had a hairstyle that was pretty much falling apart. So that's the main thing I've noticed with more budget products, um, you know, prioritizing ease of use over performance. Other noticeable differences would be scent. Um, a lot of budget products have a very samey kind of subtle chemical like scent. It's usually not that bad, but it's just kind of basic and and smells fairly synthetic. And speaking of synthetic, most of them are just chock full of synthetic ingredients. Moving on to our more premium options. I actually find, and this is kind of interesting, that premium products, uh, like especially a lot from either home brewed companies or even within our own line, have a little bit more of a learning curve in terms of how to use them, but have longer lasting results. Again, starting out with the upcoming volume cream sample from Bloomong to get the hair in the air, then going in with Grey Ghost, which is a stronghold cream pomade from Sheer Revival. It's noticeable, right? Right away that the product feels a lot more substantial and rich just in the scoop out and breakdown. 
Mmm, it smells much more natural as well. Now when applying to the hair, it's noticeably more grippy and tuggy than the budget product that we just talked about. And this is the start to what I mean by a bigger learning curve because most guys who just either don't really care about hair or just don't want to put a lot of effort into their hair would automatically consider something like this to be a no-go because they're like, I don't like kind of that, you know, that feeling. It just feels kind of sticky or tuggy. I don't like what it's doing. I just want something nice and easy. But if you learn how to apply a product like this gently and just be careful, the actual results are night and day. You can see how complete and finished my hairstyle looks compared to the cheaper product from before. And not only that, I took a clip on my phone of my hair six hours later while I was working on this video actually, and the product is still staying strong, keeping my hair in place. It looks like it did at the beginning of the day, which to me is ultimately what I'm looking for in a hair product. And of course, along with better performance, you're also getting a more natural ingredients list and uh, also ingredients that promote hair health instead of just adding to the styling benefit. So this is the kind of principle that can be applied generally. Of course, I always recommend doing your own due diligence because not every company is the same. Some companies are priced it high just for a quick cash grab and some are actually putting time and effort into the products. For example, let's take Sun Bum Dry Shampoo versus Batiste Dry Shampoo real quick. Batiste is the budget product here and Sun Bum is a little bit more premium. By the way, Sun Bum sunscreen is great stuff, okay? So if you're looking for a suntan lotion sunscreen, Sun Bum is sun bum bum bum, it's the way to go. But anyways, I applied an overload of cloud control to get my hair nice and oily for this demonstration. Then I took Sun Bum, which is the more expensive dry shampoo and sprayed that through. As you can see from the result, it did help reduce the oily look a little bit, but it's definitely still noticeable. Then I threw in some more oil and repeated the process with a more budget Batiste dry shampoo. And as you can see, there's a clear night and day difference and the Batiste brand absorbed the oil completely, making my hair look completely naturally matte. The point is there's definitely a difference between the budget hair products out there and the premium hair products out there, but always do your due diligence and your own research to make sure you're getting something that's gonna work the best for you. With that said, that's what I got for you today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check out the volume cream. It's not out. You can't check it out. We got other Blue One products though, like the hair oil, like the Cavalier clay, so many good things. It's just linked right down there below. Go ahead and check it out. Subscribe if you're new. Click this thumbs up button uh, as well. Just do everything that I'm saying. Don't think, just do it. And I'll see everybody next time.